Yeah, lots of cities have their own version of Eastland Mall. You know, once very popular, then not so popular, then pretty much an eyesore. Well, here in Richmond, that was Cloverleaf Mall, just outside of the city in Chesterfield County, Virginia. The mall, obviously not as historic as the Virginia State Capitol here, but the mall neighbors still remember the good old days and the not so good old days. When I first came here, it was a wonderful mall. There were a lot of stores. It was great shopping. Kathy Hobson bought a house and raised a family near the old Cloverleaf Mall. Neighborhoods like hers, just another part of the sprawl around the mall. So this is the place that I used to bring my kids. We did all of our shopping here for clothing and shoes. We came sometimes just to hang out in the food court, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was a mall. But then came the mall downfall, the stores going AWOL. There were barely any stores in there. I mean, barely any stores in there. And um, it kind of hurt a little bit because we had been coming here for so long. And finally, another old mall meets the wrecking ball. You come here and you shop and you go to the movies and you try not to see how things are going down. You still want to support it. Once you see the stores pulling out, you know that the time has come where something different is gonna happen. We don't know if there's gonna be anything here for us. That's how you felt. Kathy's scrapbook memories of Cloverleaf Mall in Virginia sound an awful lot like the history of Eastland Mall here in Charlotte. The clock ticking on the huge vacant property where our mall used to be, with Charlotte City Hall planning a mall overhaul for Eastland's future. But up in Chesterfield, that future is now, y'all. Their old Cloverleaf Mall already enjoying its mall curtain call. A defunct mall does not sound like something that would be prized by developers. Yeah, it was it was uh, quite difficult. In fact, you know, we like I said, we went through 22 different developers to, to get them to, to come on board. Chesterfield County's yeah. economic development director, no, Garrett Hart, right, says right, developer right, number 22, right. the one that finally took on their mothballed mall, was a Charlotte company, Crosland Southeast, the same developer that's remaking Eastland Mall, hopefully once and for all. Crosland came in with the vision that helped us get this done. Here we saw a dilapidated mall that was getting worse with every year. It was it was definitely going to go the wrong way, and and, and like a like a sickness, it was going to spread. So you know we had to stop that. You have to bring a product to the location that the citizens now want and they didn't want an old and closed mall. They wanted this, live, work, and play. Here in Chesterfield County, Virginia, Crosland's version of live, work, and play is now called Stonebridge. It includes Richmond's largest Kroger grocery store in an area that didn't have a grocery store before, plus new restaurants and new shopping and hundreds of new homes, all within walking distance. You can even walk to the corner Krispy Kreme. Stonebridge is also five minutes away from 5,000 jobs at this nearby office park, with more offices and homes and retail planned around the former mall, including this mostly empty shopping center across the street, another potential mall windfall. Once we laid, put the flag in, everybody started seeing the vision. All the, the roads you see here, all the water and sewer, um, all of the public spaces were all financed using the, the incremental taxes that this project uh, generated. None of that happens without this. And coming soon to the open space at this old mall, a new hotel and conference hall, right next door to where they play volleyball. The Richmond Volleyball Center here at Chesterfield's former mall is similar to Crosland's plan for a soccer academy and soccer fields at Eastland Mall, a place where teams and leagues for kids and adults can practice and play ball at the mall, winter, spring, summer, and fall. They have league play every night, so this facility is in use uh, every day of the week, 
and they bring in thousands of players on an annual basis for tournaments uh, from outside, really up and down the East Coast. Uh, it's become a destination for volleyball. And a destination for neighbors of the old mall, with this county rec center sharing the same four walls. We've never had anything like this in our area. Their exercise classes, their art classes, and they come here because it's like a family. We have built like a family here. Kathy Hobson even found a job here at the Recreation Center, and she finally sold her old house near the mall for a new home at the mall. Where do you live? I live right back here <laughs> in these apartments. Wow, so you're walking distance. I can walk over probably in about three minutes or less. Wow, I guess you like what they replaced Cloverleaf with. You couldn't get any better. This has been home, you know, for the last 36 years. It's funny because people, uh, they'll call and they say, well, I don't know quite where you are. And I say, well, do you remember Cloverleaf Mall? And they say, yes, that's where we are. Of course, there's no guarantee that what worked here in the Richmond area will also work in Charlotte, but since they were similar malls with similar replacement projects, well, the hope is that the current success in Chesterfield County, Virginia, could be the future success at Eastland Mall. We hope you enjoyed the story. If you don't want to miss any more great stories about the Charlotte region, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.